Oh, Millie, you don't like to be tied up? Okay. So good. With cheese and a shake? Yep. Awesome. Are you going to get some poop? I am. How do you know? Well, the baggies with the names on them. Dead giveaway. Oh, okay. I'm good at picking up poop. You want to see Bubba? Ah! How was school? <laughs> you are a turd. Hey, Pop. Hey, buddy. How's ya? So I'm mixing up a bucket of alfalfa pellets and putting on um, an oil flavor that, that is has different nutrients in it, um, made for horses, but camels like it too. I use this to coat the alfalfa, and what I'll, I will also put on this will be some selenium in there for extra minerals. Uh, we keep them on minerals and loose salt for supplements. And we also, through the summertime, have been giving them uh, the Redmond salt with garlic in it to help with the, uh, the fly control. So we got some oil in there, some selenium. Uh, I'm going to put a couple scoops of garlic in there for them. Actually, this bag is almost empty so I just added into there we'll get a refill so these two are up here ready to get their their treat um, definitely will come up when they know I'm mixing that up but also I gotta lure them to get the halter on which hopefully I can get on video here for you guys but they love these little cattle cubes we use them as treats as well uh, good protein for them. So we'll try to get them haltered up here and go from there. Come on, Millie. We got these guys here in the shade, eating some treats. Oh, Millie, you don't like to be tied up? Okay. Two of the common questions we get on Poppy and Millie are, uh, the questions are, number one, are they expensive? Number two, are they hard to take care of? And both of those answers are yes and no. So are these guys expensive? The answer is both yes and no. Um, 
initially, the initial cost of getting the camels, actually not going to be a whole lot more than what people spend to buy a really good horse. But, to me, expense isn't about the initial cost. The expense comes into what you have to pay in the long term to keep them healthy. Now, a so to that, what I always say is they can be expensive. Um, a little bit of cost up front if you take care of them and keep them healthy. The overall cost is not a lot. It's a warm day, but I haven't had them out walking for a little bit. Um, I got Millie tied off to Pop, so she's going to basically follow his lead wherever he goes and pop's gonna follow my lead uh but back to the cost of camels the big thing that you got to consider is are you willing to put the time the effort and the cost towards an animal after you buy them and really that goes for all animals in my opinion whether it's a dog whether it's a cat, um, horse, cattle, camel, really doesn't matter. You can spend whatever up front. And one of the, the frustrating things that I see is, is that people will buy animals and they go off emotion up front and don't pay attention to the long-term costs. Um, there's nothing more heart-wrenching to me with animals and going to the vet office and seeing a family in there with a dog with trauma and they don't have money to take care of that dog and and get whatever done to to heal them up and they have to make a tough decision so that's always heart-wrenching to me so what i tell people is uh yeah there's a cost to these guys up front but that's not what you should consider. The uh, overall cost to take care of camels, uh, what you really should look at, you gotta, you gotta do their parasite loads uh, to test their health. Uh, that's not inexpensive, and you gotta do it every 10, eight to 10 weeks uh, minimum, assuming they're healthy. Don't be more frequent if, if they do get sick. Another additional cost is treating them if they do have a parasite that needs treated. Uh, they are big animals. They have a different digestive tract than horses, cows, um, other animals. So the way that they actually absorb their medications is different. And so they typically take multiple treatments at high doses, uh, it is easy to estimate. You could spend four to five hundred dollars per animal every year just on on treating their parasites. If you let them get out of control, if you you keep them healthy, that cost goes down dramatically. And that goes with the other thing: are they easy to take care of? Um, yeah, they eat grass, they eat hay, they eat leaves, they eat. You know, we treat them with alfalfa supplements, uh, alfalfa pellets. We, uh, we take pretty good care of them. But it is work to make sure you're doing what you need to do. So with these guys, um, again, we got to test their parasite loads. Are they easy to take care of? Yeah, until they get sick. Um, so if you're not willing to put the effort to make sure you're treating them right, and taking care of them and keeping them healthy, then no, they're not easy to take care of. Another consideration is these massive feet. Um, we are fortunate we live on a property that has some pretty hard ground, pretty hard uh, rocky areas that they walk through and they keep their toenails trimmed down. If you're in a place that doesn't have very hard or rocky soil, um, then you're going to have to take care of their feet, trim their nails, 
all that stuff. The um, poppy's kicking right now. We're gonna <laughs> spray some flight control on him. Again, that is uh, something that you gotta do. This time of year, you gotta do flight control almost every week uh, to, to keep up with them. So, you know, that's, that's quite a bit of work that a lot of people aren't willing to put forth. Um, minerals are very important. Loose salt. If you don't keep them on good min minerals, they do tend to have bad uh, leg and feet problems and weak bones, which of course in any animal, if you get weak bones, that is either life ending or very expensive to to repair so these guys are fun we love them beautiful creatures they uh have personalities they can be moody they can be rambunctious every day is different with camel they make great pets great companion animals um, it's just something I wouldn't recommend people get into unless they're ready for a long-term investment, uh, which long-term they live 45 to 50 years. So you, you better be thinking down the road if you want to invest in camels and, uh, long-term also means you got to take care of them and spend plenty of time treating them and spending time with them every week. So guys, that's a little bit on our camels, how we take care of them. Had them out of the pen for a little bit here. Uh, we're gonna get them tied back up and get some fly spray on them and, and cut them loose and finish picking up their poop so that we can get it sent off to the lab and get them treated if they need it. This is what their turds look like. His turds today are balled up. So he, uh, hopefully that's not a sign of a change in his parasite load, but good thing we're testing it out to get it sent in. Give you an idea of what their stools look like. This is Millie's, uh, pretty consistent to what it usually looks like. Poppy's is usually like that, but just a little bit larger. His today, however, are a little bit more chunky. Uh, hopefully that's just nerves of him knowing he was gonna get caught up. They do kind of have looser stools when they get nervous. Um, so hopefully that's what this is from. But this just shows the point. Uh, you gotta keep them tested to make sure they're healthy. Now interesting about their poop or their droppings, uh, it is considered to be a good fertilizer. We've never used it, but in research it has a lower, what they call a heat value, which means it can be put uh, more directly with, with your plants and it also uh, can be used sooner in the nitrogen and all the different um, makeups of, of fertilizer. The ratio in camel poop is supposedly one of the best. So if you want to come clean my stalls and get all the free fertilizer you want, hey, message me and let me know. Hey, Poppy. Let me get you undone here, buddy. Okay guys, there you go. You can go about your afternoon.